So myself and my co-founder Michal, we grew up here in small farms in Ireland. Pretty much a place where either you're a farmer or your neighbor's a farmer. Uh, when you're farming, the way you would scout or manage your crops is you'd go out into the fields, check each individual plant for any problems, diseases, pests, write it down in your notebook, head back to the office and figure out the next plan of action. Combine this with the need to constantly monitor every factor on the farm, and you've got an awful lot of work on your hands. Extremely time consuming for a team of one, and even more expensive to hire in a team to help. It isn't just small farmers here in Ireland that are having similar problems. On average, it's normal to lose up to about 20% of your yield, but we don't believe this should be the case. 92% of farmers would survey their farm every single day if it was economically viable. Right now, it's not. So we built CropSafe and we figured why not let technology do this job for us. CropSafe allows farmers to create alerts and receive insights on the condition and health of their farm. All data gathered remotely from thousands of weather stations across the world, soil probes and satellites are orbiting 500 kilometers above our head. So with the CropSafe app, First, you just choose an alert from the dozens we have on our marketplace. Add it to your profile. Choose what location you want it active on. And that's pretty much it. Five seconds is all it took. CropSafe will continuously monitor in the background, letting you know when you need to take action. So how it works is we ingest millions of data points from our data providers, such as NASA, the European Space Agency. We choose what data is most relevant to your alert, and we monitor it internally. Um, so then all you have to do is deal with one alert. No more messy tables or graphs or super complicated maps to look at anymore. We don't believe in those. We're still early stage, but we're moving at light speed. Over 1,500 customers on our waiting list, $80,000 in LOIs, and we're looking into raising a run later this year. Myself and Michal, we grew up together. We attended high school together, and now we plan to connect every single farm on the planet together. We're still early stage, but we're aiming high. We're raising small round right now, and we'd love to talk to any early stage investors that share our vision for digitally connecting every single farm on the planet. Thank you. So the obvious question that comes to mind is, and, and you're right, and there's a large transition in the availability of satellite data, but I've probably seen a dozen startups all using satellite data, some adding drone data, in addition to it, um, what are you doing different? What would differentiate your offering from the other startups? Right, uh, so the main difference we try to do is uh, we take in all these different data sources from satellites, drones, uh, sensors, and we don't let the customer deal with these sources. We believe it's kind of too complicated and too messy. The customers don't have to deal with looking at satellite maps. Um, so the difference we do is we interpret them for us, for, for those customers, and we just, take those insights and tell the farm exactly what they need to do, when they needed it, when, where they needed it. So maps, tables, graphs aren't really needed. Yeah, though uh, there are people doing every variant of this depending upon the price point. Um, and the farmer does have, uh, so the agronomists usually, I don't know about Ireland in the US, there's an agronomist serving every farm area. Uh, the question, uh, the second question that comes up as we've looked at startups in this area, beyond what's differentiated, why couldn't others do this? What's your cost of selling to farmers? Either your price point is really low or your cost of selling is too high. Uh, so where do you end up and how do you handle that issue? Yeah, so we have a few different tiers depending on what type of customer it is. Uh, so we have tiers that uh, customers, uh, the data that we bring in doesn't actually cost us anything. It's all open source data. We also have additional tiers on top of that where you do take in paid data, so the likes of Planet data or Airbus data. Um, and that's just scales on the size of the customer. Um, so yeah, we, we have a kind of a tiered approach to that. And how do you price it? Uh, I'm more really asking question around what's your cost of s selling to a farmer? Yes, so we charge uh, per acre per month. And how much is that? Per acre per month? Uh, it varies with customers. We're, we're really just kind of in the early stages of ch uh, ch um, changing around mm -hmm. prices. So it's around, it's around $2 or so per month per acre. Okay. So the big question you will have is if I run a thousand acre farm or a 5,000 acre farm, which would be a reasonable size farm in the US, I think, uh, how can you afford to sell to farmers individually? Uh, 
you know, they're starting to pay you uh, serious money. Um, what's your cost of selling? Yeah, so that's something we're definitely experimenting with um, at, at the early stages right now. Um, but one thing we have been looking into as well is selling directly to agronomists and distributors directly. So they'll have a pool with farmers um, and, and they're more likely to, to invest in it because then they can manage um, a bunch of farmers more, more easily. But, but yeah, something we're still experimenting with. So, uh, and that's an interesting question. If you sell through agronomists, then you have the reverse problem. They want to get lots more data, like some of the other satellite apps do, and look like they're experts to their customers, which is the farmer. So a lot of sales go through the agronomist, but those agronomists want to impress the farmer with something the farmer can't do themselves. So you have this catch 22. If you simplify it a lot, the farmer can buy it, and the, but the agronomist doesn't have a way to impress the farmer or add his expertise to it and his markup, of course, which is the only reason they'd sell it. Um, we, we only have a short time. My other recommendation to you would be look at what you can do different. You know, everybody's using the same data, for example, hyperspectral or even multispectral imaging some of the best plants I've seen use that to be highly predictive of even the growth stage of a plant or the lack of nitrogen or some other things. So a lot more information in hyperspectral. Now it's a lot more expensive to develop the technology, but you'll have a differentiation issue and a go-to-market, what's the cost of a sale? Perfect, really appreciate that, thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks a lot.